what we have here is two rows of dominoes. So I'm going to ask you guys some questions about them, review, you know, axons, action potentials, neurons, and then I'm going to push them both over and I want you to try to figure out what the difference is. I mean, obviously this one has a stick on it, but <laughs> what you see is the difference and what you think the stick represents, okay? So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push just a little lightly on the first domino, but the domino does not go over. What does that represent? I should put that as the first neuron fire. Very good. It has not reached the threshold potential. Does anybody remember what that is about? 50, 55. Very good. Negative 55 millivolts. What's the resting potential of negative 70 millivolts? Very good. So we're not getting enough pressure. We're not getting enough sensory um, or motion or, or pressure to get that going. Okay. What does uh, the sort of in-between spaces of the dominoes represent? Good, the nodes of rain beer. Very good. So remember we call that a saltatory conduction, right? That it goes from domino from domino, from node to node. And what's happening at that at those nodes in order to open up the next node? The sodium is falling in and it's releasing the charge. Good. So the sodium is coming in and that influx of sodium causes the next domino to go over. Very good. What is going to then behind it? I know this demonstration is not going to show it, but what behind it, what's actually going to start to go out of the cell? Potassium. Potassium. Very good. What is the purpose of the potassium going out? To go out. To, 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 to flip the charge, and flipping the charge does what to the signal? It transmits it so the next pump act activates the pool. Is the potassium out? Uh, it doesn't necessarily keep transmitting it. It prevents what from happening? The signal from going backwards. Good, Ben. It prevents the signal from going backwards. So the signal is going to continue to go down. It's not going to go backwards. Good. Now we've had the signal go, right? We have, remember from the from the graph, we've got the, the um, repolarization. We have to get back to our starting potential, right? How do we get back to that resting uh, potential? Sodium potassium pump. The sodium potassium pump. Anybody remember what we bring in and what we bring out? Um, cow, we're not going to say. Well, we're actually going to do an activity <laughs> after this. Uh, to show that. Okay, so I'm going to push on both of these, try to see what it, what happens, and tell me what you think the stick represents, something we haven't talked about yet today. I don't know if this is going to work. It worked. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> what did you notice about the first row versus the second row? It was the first row was this went, was almost immediate, right? It was almost instantaneous. As soon as I pushed on it, this last one fell down. While this, it was still going. It was like grandma in her car, still trying to get, right? So what do you think the stick represented? Myelin. The myelin sheets. What are the myelin sheets made out of? Lipids. The lipids, the fats. And so what does that do to the signal? It insulates and puts pressure on it. Insulates it and makes it go faster. Wasn't that a good demonstration? That was great. Good. So once enough sodium gets inside, then the potassium is going to start to leak out. The sodium potassium pump starts to reestablish that gradient. So we want to put three sodium out and two red potassium in. And this just continues until when? So guys, when is this going to stop? I mean, I, obviously we only have so many people in here, but when is this going to stop? Synapse. When we get to the synapse. Very good. What is the synapse? The gap between the two neurons. Good. The gap between the two neurons. Okay. So what would we have be released at the end of the synapse then? A neurotransmitter. Good. Now, is that postsynaptic cell necessarily going to generate another action potential? Not necessarily, right? Good. It could be inhibitory or it could be excitatory. Good. We learned that from the video that we watched. Um, and what is going to remind us of sodium on the outside and potassium on the inside? Salty banana. Salty banana.